Folks, quick reminder on how to approach this payoff table here based on order sizes and demands. And I think what everybody's seeing here is there are two conditions. When the order size exceeds the demand and when the demand exceeds the order size and how this works. So I'm gonna do, just very quickly, I'm gonna do these two cells right here where we have each condition where first case where the order size exceeds the demand and then when the demand exceeds the order size. So let me, and I'm gonna take a slightly different approach. That way you have another way of looking at this uh, as I did in the video that's in the instructional tools area. So when the order size, again, order size here is 160 and the demand is 150. So in this case, here's the way this works. The first thing that you do is you have to buy the equipment. So you can think of this as an outlay of money. So minus, you're gonna pay, uh, let's see, um, the cost is $150 times your order size, which is $160. So you're paying that money out of your pocket. And then you're gonna get, once you sell, now since the demand uh, for this, the order size is 160, the demand is 150. So you're going to make $275 for the first 150 products that you sell. And then what happens after that is you sell the last 10. So the difference between 160 and 150 is 10, and those get sold at the discounted rate of $100. So the uh, expected payoff here for uh, an order size of 160 and a demand of 150 is $18,250. And obviously this gets, uh, as you fill out the payoff table along this row, this expected value will increase based on these values and the expected probabilities. So what happens here when the demand is greater than the order size? So you still have the first condition where you have to go pay, uh, where you have to pay $150 for the order size of 160 units. But then you add to that $275 for all 160 units because you don't have the additional 15 units to complete the demand. In this case, that is the end of the story there because there are no leftover units. All 160 units get sold. Let me just put the cursor back in here. Let me blow this up too, just to make sure everybody sees it. All uh, 160 units get sold at the regular price of 275. So. This is, the, uh, this is the strategy that you need to employ to fill out the table here. Uh, obviously, as you, as you see the, uh, the strategy here, uh, you may be able to simplify this by uh, putting some uh, dollar signs on these cells and uh, you know, not having to type them out every time. Uh, but if you have to do that, that's fine too. Uh, just make sure that you are comparing order size and demand in order to uh, you know, set up the uh, syntax strategy. Uh, let's see, just as a note here, if you do this all correctly, the value you are going to get here for the EVPI is $1,250. So I uh, hope that helps. And uh, again, uh, just a slightly different way of thinking of this um, in terms of the uh, syntax, but as long as you are careful to compare the order size to the demand uh, and you know how it works dollar wise you can't go wrong but if there's any more questions uh, please post them on the discussion board and uh, make and uh, we'll make sure they get answered over the weekend thanks